Fábrica de Cerveza, 1890-1975. Yon, what's up mga kabote and mga kadekada? No, we're here at Museo ng Kahapon in Mandaluyong. It's your boy Crazy Kyle, the Filipino picker. And today, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay mga vintage na mga bote na may mga katernong mga OR o official receipts na mga 1950s, 1930s. I wanna show you guys how it looked. I wanna show you guys how the bottles look and how to determine the age of a bottle. So let's go! So ito yung mga pinrepair ko ng mga paperwork no, na nasa collection natin. Iisa-isahin natin sila. Ngayon, no? So, bago natin tutukan isa-isa uh, let's check out this is 7up bottling company this is canada dry philippines buyer lease california orange ito matindi la fabrica de cerveza de san miguel no anong date nito the date is march 1939 grabe yeah and i have here a Pepsi Cola Bottling Company and then we'll go check out from here we're gonna go check out here kung nasan yung mga bote na nandun sa mga resibo na yun no? so let's go check it out let's take a look at this one first no? so basahin nyo mabuti La Fabrica de Cerveza de San Miguel no? 1939 okay I have a bottle here that says that exactly. Pero hindi ito yung 1939 bottle. This is the uh, commemorative bottle of uh, that plant, like this one. Yeah. Marami kayong San Miguel bottles na hindi nyo pa nakikita, pero I'll show you guys today. This one, oh, La Fabrica de Cerveza, 1890 to 1975. Look at that. It's a very nice bottle. Ayan siya. Now, if you look at the receipt, no, 1939, most likely, uh, let's let's go check out some of the bottles. Ah, wag sa dumal basag. Here are the pre-war bottles. Kasi yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, that's just a commemorative bottle, no? Pero these are how the San Miguel bottles look like. This one is the PP Rojas with the San Miguel logo. Nakita niyo yun. And then of course, these are the two generic bottles with the SM logo. No? Ayan siya. And this is the green bottle. There's an amber uh, version of this. Let's get the amber variant. Show. And the amber. Uh, normally, what they do is there's a paper label here, no? Then yung paper label sa ilalim, kaya may space na malaki sa ilalim. Now let's take a look at this. This one naman, no? Is the Canada Dry. It says here, anong year? 1954, no? Paranaque Rizal. Yung, yung Paranaque under Rizal pa. So here are the Canada Dry bottles, no? So this one, tonic water, spur cola, Canada dry, all Philippines, no? Pag sa likod niya, nakalagay Philippines lahat. Ayan, no? Paranaque, Rizal nga, nagtugma, no? Yung nakita natin kanina. So, ayan. Uh, tonic water, high spot, Canada, Canada dry water, Canada dry, beverages, and ito, Canada dry. Nakalagay dyan sa ilalim uh, Reg Fill Pat Off no? Paranaque Rizal Ayun. Paranaque Rizal And here sa resibo nila Nakalagay nga Ayan, no? Paranaque Rizal Ayan. Tapos Ang kagandahan nito Nakikita nyo ba? Sa ilalim kasi makikita nyo yung Year no? Yung year ng isang bote At kung makikita nyo yun Ayan no 1954, you know, 54. Nakita nyo ba yun? Ito siya. 
five four no and five four and if you look at it yung resibo natin no kanina nakalagay din ay five four no 1954 so most likely ayan yan no let's check out how much to one peso and 68 centavo isang case ha? one case this one mas clear yung ano nakalagay sa likod uh, ayun paranyake rizal the next one is the barley's california orange okay uh, if you see here medyo maraming in order to kasi parang bakery no parang la patricia bakery or whatever it is so tingnan nyo naman yung order niya no dalawang case ng chocolate and then another two cases and here return case so kung makikita nyo ang price ng isang case is how much yun natin ah ang isang case is 1 1 peso and uh, 66 mas mura siya ng 2 cents 68 si Canada Dry kanina eh okay and yung chocolate is mas mahal oh. yung chocolate uh, 2 pesos and 40 cents so dalawang case in order niya 4 pesos and 80 cents imagine nyo, imagine nyo noon 5 piso ha yung 5 piso nyo malayo ang aabutin noon so there it is ang date is 1954 let's check sa pagkakaalam ko no, sa ating collection these are the barley's and Barley's California Orange pero made in the Philippines no? and uh, there it is, yung ilalim one way na malalaman yung lumang bote pag yung ilalim walang grooves okay, yung mga linya-linya na nakikita nyo dyan sa mga bagong bote ngayon ng soft drinks so yun, one way to look if a bottle is old, no? is at the bottom no? so let's take a look at this the Dalmar 1950s no? so ayan no? yung ilalim nya clear na ganyan, no? Walang guhit-guhit. It's called grooves. Okay? So, kung bago ang bote, I collected some new bottles also kasi sa tingin ko, magiging rare siya balang araw. The Manny Pacquiao Sting, no? Nag-collect na ako niyan. Ayun, no? Nakita niyo may grooves. ba? That's one indicator na bago ang bote. Okay? Yung mga lumang bote, walang ganyan sa ilalim. Here's another variant. Pa-side naman, no? Ni Cloud. Barley's probably most likely the chocolate versions and this one is let's see the bottom ayan siya ito san miguel na migawa ng bote na ito so this one is also a bottle of barley's and they are located in 2990 taft avenue pasay uy dun ako nag-aral chungwa represent next let's go check this out this is the 7up bottling company of the Philippines para niya kay Rizal din. Tingnan niyo yung telephone number. Anim lang. 839051. <laughs> okay. Yung tin, I think that's the tin, no? Ang tawag, tan, no? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, that's what I think it is kasi OR to eh. Uh, ang pangalan, Aling Marta sa Juan Luna. Ang order niya ay 41 cases. Malamang may tindahan to. So, yan. 41 cases. Uh, for 7 uh, pesos and 90 cents no? and 323 pesos yung 323 pesos 41 cases times 24 <laughs> so ayun no? uh, let's take a look at the uh, 7 up bottles no? na made in the Philippines let's go check out my 7 up bottles yung mga 7 up ko nandito eh, no? these ones Nalala nyo pa si Pido dito, no? Uh, ito. This is called the Dancing Lady. One of the, ano mo yun, in-demand na mga bottles, vintage bottles sa bottle collectors. Marami kasi yung ganyan lang, no? Yung logo ng 7up. This one has the Dancing Lady. Okay, it, it says Reg Fill Pat Off. Very important. Kapag nakalagay dyan Reg US, medyo mababa lang ang value nun sa mga Philippine collectors, no? So, yeah, I think it says uh, Ilalim Dura Glass. Yeah, let's put it back. Yeah, Diet 7-Up. Okay, ito mga later versions, yung 7-Up na pag -anon. And 
diagonal. Okay, and uh, one of the rarest is the Seven Up Amber, no? Na hindi nyo aakalain na meron, which is this one. Look at this, Amber na Seven Up. This used to be very, very rare, no? Used to be until uh, ayun, tinan nyo, ilalim, 1958. So it says here, Seven Up Bottling Company of the Philippines, Paranaque Rizal. Let's go check out the recibo kanina. Paranaque Rizal nga ba? Yes, there. Paranaque Rizal. Yung sa bote, Paranaque Rizal. Look at that. It's probably what they ordered. See? Aling Marta. <laughs> and uh, let's go back to this one. No, balikan natin to. Kasi, um, I purchased this kasi nakaka aliu no? Very interesting na ang umorder, ang client nila is eto, Manila Railroad Company. Okay? Yung release ng tren. Siguro para sa mga empleyado, umorder sila ng one case lang. Okay? One case is probably their order form, no? Doesn't look like an OR to me. But... Uh, 7 pesos and 50 centavos ang isang case. Okay? Nang, siguro may inumang naganap nung gabi na yun, uh, which is March 14, 1939. Now here, let's go take a look at the Pepsi receipt. No, It says, Bottling Company of the Philippine Islands. So kapag ka, uh, Republic of the Philippines, medyo bago-bago pag sinabing PI, Philippine Islands, yun yung alam nyo na lumang-luma yun, no? Like this one, nakasulat PI mail, no? PI mail, ba? So, ayan, ibig sabihin luma talaga siya. So, uh, let's see. Ang order ay walong case, 23 pesos, walong case. Grabe yun. So, kung walong case, ito yung mga Pepsi na meron tayo, eh, no? So, the Pepsi bottles most likely would look like this. Okay? There are two kinds ng uh, ACL. Applied color label, they call this. Ang two kinds is yung single dot and yung isa is double dot. Nakit napansin niyo yun? Dalawa yung dot. Big price difference, no? Siguro times five ang price niya sa mga collector, no? And this one says quality. This one says quantity. Okay? Uh, and it should be made in the Philippines para magkaroon siya ng magandang value, no? So, look at this. It says here, Philippine Islands talaga. Grabe, di ba yung resibo kanina nakalagay? Philippine Islands talaga. Ang ilalim natin, ball. Okay, ball. Let's go check it out. Tapos, ito yung mga ibang cute na mga bote ng Pepsi, no? Ito yung Ito yung Pepsi Blue na kala mo eh, gasolina. <laughs> Di ba? And you know. And then this one, medyo na aliw talaga ako kasi it says, it looks the same. Ano mo, pareho lang, diba? Pareho lang. But this one says, Iloilo, Iloilo Butlers, no? So this is a provincial bottle. Sa naked eye, sa non-collector, parang pareho lang yan, Pepsi, parehong bote. Pero pagka tinitigan mo mabuti, Iba pala yun, no? Pakaganda. Kaya nasa museo yung mga yan. And uh, para sa akin, ang pinakamagandang bote, para sa akin lang naman, ha? Sa akin lang. Pinakamagandang bote ng Pepsi ay ito. Okay? Kumpara natin. Yung kanina, napansin nyo, red, white, no? Double dot. Sabi ko sa inyo, mas mahal yung double dot na red and white. Eh, ano pa kaya to? Tricolor. May blue, may red, may white, at double dot pa siya. Okay? Double dot na, tricolor pa, at sa likod, makikita mo, ayan, made in the Philippines pa. Okay? Which makes it very, very rare and very, very valuable. Valuable na lang. Huwag na lang rare. Baka may mag-react pa eh. <laughs> So yeah, nasa top shelf siya, isa sa mga paborito natin. So, like I said, I want to discuss sana all the bottles, no? But one episode will be too long. 
it might not be enough baka maantok yung mga tao pero uh, for now I discussed the bottles na kasama dun sa mga OR or mga resibo na na pick natin recently no so uh, I hope you guys visit uh, museo ng kahapon dahil nandito yung mga lata mga laruan mga statwa mga napapanood nyo sa Jessica Soho like yung kabayong uh, kalawang naging to uh, lily beer you know yung kauna-unahang Jollibee uh, packaging tapos yung mga tao-tao ayun hindi ko pwede turo sa taas baka masama and then red payphone uh, sapatos ni Alvin Patrimonio Imelda Marcos autograph and everything else so I hope you guys visit us here in Boni Mandaluyong There, if you check this Dalmar out, it says 1954. 1954. So that's it for today's episode. Sana may kayo ngayon. Sana may naibahagi ako sa inyo na makabuluhan and uh, I hope you guys start collecting bottles as well and preserve history kagaya namin. You can join the group mga lumang bote. Type nyo lang mga lumang bote. Makaka-join kayo sa group namin. We're over 15,000 members now. Mas madami pa tayo sa ibang toy groups at mga antique groups kaya nakakataba po ng puso yun. So, maraming salamat and I hope to see you guys here at Museo ng Kahapon. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button para marami pa tayong episodes na magawa in the future at mapanood nyo rin lahat yun. Again, my name is Crazy Kyle, the Filipino picker, your modern day magbobote. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!